Welcome everyone, I'm Jeff Smith and I'm going to talk to you today about getting information about your Oracle database objects from the command line interface. And when we're talking about the Oracle command line, most people think about SQL Plus, which started way back in 1984. And um, our team, which are the makers of SQL Developer, built a, um, a newer, more modern um, command line interface for the database. We call it SQL CL. It's also Java based. It's about 15 megs. And it does pretty much everything SQL Plus does, but a whole lot more. And um, one of the most popular commands in all of Oracle um, is called describe, where in its short version is um, DESC. So what I'm going to do is show you how describe works and then also show you how a new command that we built in SQL CL works called information, um, which can also be shortened to info. So to get into SQL CL, it's just SQL and the same connect string as you're used to using in SQL Plus. And let's look really quickly at the describe command. So I'm going to use the long form first. So we don't get a lot of information. Um, we get the list of columns, whether those columns are nullable or not, and the data type definitions. So no location ID has to always have a value. And I know that it can't have a value larger than 9,999. But I don't know if that's the primary key. I don't see any of the column comments or table comments. I don't know when it was created. Heck, I technically don't even know what schema it belongs to. So let's look at um, the info command, which again is short for information. So I'll type it out formally. Um, the other thing SQL CL has is tab completion. So I have a lot of different things I can do info on. And once I get to the end, um, I have just those options. So if you're tired of typing things out all the time, you can use the tab complete. So we get a lot more info here. So let's see what it tells us. I can see that uh, it is a table. Um, the stats are up to date as of this, oh, sorry, uh, November 12th. And then according to the statistics, we have 23 rows. Uh, this table is not in memory. Um, the person who built this table wanted us to know that the locations table that contains specific address of a specific office, warehouse, and or production site, yada, yada, yada. Now we also have the columns list. Um, the first thing you'll notice is location ID has an asterisk by it. That tells us that that is the primary key column. Then we also have the data type information. We also have the nullability. Um, if there were any default values attached to these columns, so if I were to insert a new record and not provide um, a value for postal code and I had in the table a default defined as 90210, that would be listed there. And then since I also have comments for each of the columns, I can see those. So the person that built this table wanted me to know that the location ID is the primary key of locations table. And then below that, we get a list of indexes and a list of the foreign key constraints. So not a list of all the constraints, but just the referential integrity type constraints we get a list of. Let's try this again. So let's try this again. Let's do a describe on the employees table. Again, there's our list of columns. And now let's do the info on employees. So same basic information. Table name, how fresh the stats are, basic stats, list of columns, table comments, column comments, list of indexes, and a list of the foreign key constraints. And I have three of them this time. Of course, we can do more than just describe uh, a table or more than just info a table. You can, of course, describe a package. So dbms output is a uh, public synonym granted um, so everyone can access it, and it points to uh, a package in the sys schema. So that's a little bit hard to read. Um, one of the options we have in SQL CL is to do automatic formatting of the output. So let's turn that on. Set SQL format to ANSI console on dbms output again.
Yeah, so that's a lot easier to read than I think the classic output. So we get a list of the procedures and functions, and then the argument types, uh, ins and outs, and defaults. I still think we can do a little bit better. So let's try an info on this. So this is an info on the entire package. So here we get the same information, but we get it in a slightly different format. Um, I'm telling you still the list of functions and procedures, but I'm also giving you calls that you can make. So I could literally copy this text and then make a call to DBMS uh, put line, which would be this one. So. I can copy that and then call that if I want, insert that directly in my code if I need to. Maybe you don't need to know everything about the package, but you just want to know something about one of the individual um, items. So let's do a describe on dbms output put line. Oh, can't do that. That seems weird. Well, guess what? You can do that with info. So I'm going to say info dbms output put line. And that'll grab us just the information on that um, single um, procedure inside the package. So let's look at the help uh, for the information command. So we have the ones that we've been using, which is just the base command followed by the object name. But there's also an info plus, which will show column statistics. So let's look at info plus for employees table. So instead of getting the column comments, we're now getting the column stats. So based on the stats that were computed back again, which looks like uh, November 21st on 107 records, which is all of the records, the low value for employee ID was 100, the high value was 206. We have 107 distinct values for employee ID. Um, if we look at salary, the low is 2100, the high is 2400, there's 57 distinct um, items. Uh, and if we look at job ID, manager ID, and department ID, we can also see their histograms um, they are available. So that helps the optimizer um, see that the distribution um, of the values isn't uniform and um, it's able to put um, some values in what we call buckets and it makes it easier to access those values instead of treating every row as, as if it were equally distributed across the range of values. So that is the info command, that is the describe command. Um, this is SQL CL. If you want to know more about SQL CL, uh, you can go to its product page on um, oracle.com. Uh, you can also follow SQL CL on Twitter at Oracle SQL CL. Thanks everybody, have a nice day.